Electrive Studio, powered by EVBox. Hey there, welcome to the electrive.com studio. Well, not the studio right now. Um, I am here with the CTO of EVBox, um, who our, also powered our uh, studio here at the Revolution event. Um, Arian van Royen, I'm very happy to, to see you here. Yeah, um, EVBox, uh, everybody knows, uh, charging network, uh, infrastructure provider, but there's also, of course, a lot of software and uh, technology behind, which is Everon or Evron. So maybe tell us a little bit uh, about the sector we are approaching here. Yeah, so Everon is our charging management platform, which basically enables CPO and EMSP businesses to, uh, to run their business on. And so we take care of uh, management of uh, charging stations uh, with the latest uh, open standards uh, for the platform. So we support the latest uh, OSPP 1.6 and, uh, and 2.0 uh, for managing your charging stations remotely, uh, of course, over uh, the, the networks. Um, and we enable uh, you to do roaming transactions and take care of all of the financial handling and billing and invoicing towards uh, the customers. Could you be, and now that, you're, that I have the CTO here, could you be a little bit more concrete? Uh, challenges, but also the solution that you offer? Yeah, so uh, we're concretely rebuilding this uh, platform because we used to have a platform for 10 years already. Uh, we decided to actually rebuild a new platform really on a cloud-based approach to be scalable for the future needs. Now we're going into this uh, major transition towards uh, EVs. Uh, and therefore it requires uh, the market to be able to support millions and millions of charging stations uh, with, with billions of transactions. And to be able to do that on a global scale, dealing with all the different legislation, the different currencies, the different VAT models uh, in conjunction, we have been rebuilding this architecture on a cloud-based uh, platform and we provide this as a software, as a service toward other businesses. So EVbox is one of our customers on the platform, but we have a multitude of uh, tenants that we run on this, uh, on this platform. So basically, uh, another char uh, charging station provider can also run on Everon, basically. That's correct. We're completely agnostic to any type of hardware. So we purely focus on open uh, standards, uh, like uh, OCPP and, and OCPI for, uh, for roaming uh, connections. And we've created uh, connections to all of the major uh, uh, CPO uh, platforms as well as uh, roaming platforms. Uh, so this enables uh, all the MSP users to be able to utilize all these networks uh, and of course, it allows all of the station owners to be able to leverage uh, yeah, customers from all different regions and of course, all different networks. Talking about all different regions, at electrive.com, we obviously have this uh, Europe, uh, European focus. Yeah. Uh, we've got loads of uh, uh, customers or readers actually from uh, North America as well. Yeah. Like uh, for you, uh, what is your outlook at the moment? Uh, or what are the strongest markets or maybe up and coming? Uh, yeah, obviously we initially focus on the European market, uh, but as you might have read in the news, we have also made an agreement with, uh, with ChargePoint uh, to actually leverage also the open standard OCPI and to have a roaming agreement between uh, EVbox and, uh, and ChargePoint uh, so that we can uh, leverage on both sides, have North America uh, towards Europe and from Europe towards North America, so we can share our customers amongst uh, yeah, the large install base of EVbox and also uh, ChargePoint. Uh, so that definitely helps us to cover also these services in, in the US. Uh, we'll actually go this year towards the market in the uh, US with, uh, with Evron. So initially we focus on the European market. And have you, have you got uh, any partners already? Can you, can you name drop? Uh, yeah, of course. We, well, I mean, we have been in the US market for, uh, for quite a long time already. Um, and, and there, of course, we have been working together with, uh, with, with partners like, uh, like EV Connect and uh, quite successfully and, and we're actually going to launch in the US market uh, with some partners on the platform which I cannot name yet uh, to date. Um, of course there's uh, lots of talk in the industry at the moment like AC, DC and then obviously also high power charging. Uh, what uh, is your focus? Do you have a focus? Do you have a balance? Well as a VBOX of, of course we focus both on AC uh, charging at home, uh, at, the, at the office uh, as well as in public. Uh, but we also have a, range, a full range of uh, DC fast charging stations from 50 to 350 kilowatt. Uh, so we provide the full range. Also for the software platform Everon, we support all these type of charging stations, including all the dynamic uh, features and requirements that come along with uh, the different type of charging, charging environments. 
So yeah, we have been uh, building support for the complete range of charges, both on the hardware side as well as on the software as a service from the platform. And how about inductive uh, charging, wireless charging? Uh, we have some research going on. Uh, actually, we also have applied for, for some patents on, uh, on inductive uh, wireless charging. Uh, but we don't foresee uh, a concrete product in the coming two years. And so we believe definitely uh, are a believer in, in wireless charging. That's why we have been, over the last two and a half years, have been investing quite heavily in, uh, in research. Uh, but it's still at the research stage. And uh, yeah, we, we, we think the adoption of the, the mass market adoption of wireless will come a bit later than, uh, than yeah, not, not at least in the coming two years. Um, you just mentioned the coming uh, two years, so uh, if you have a vision, or do you have a vision for 2025? Um, we have envisioned for 2025 to sell uh, one million charging stations. And we've announced that in the, uh, in the Global Climate Summit uh, end of last year. And how are you going to do that? Because it's quite an upscale, isn't it? It's definitely uh, a very big upscale. Uh, so we are actually uh, onboarding quite a few markets. Of course, we already have been growing our, our own presence uh, at to 75,000 charging points to date um, with the current markets. Uh, but we're also working together with automotive customers to be able to, to help grow this skill. And we see a lot of our customers actually stepping into this market and yeah, adopting from, uh, from, from, from gasoline, uh, diesel towards uh, full electric. Uh, and that will definitely help us to achieve our goals. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you're right. Car makers are becoming infrastructure provided, is, uh, providers, it seems. We just had a conversation with Volkswagen. Yeah. Um, where, how do you see this? Uh, so you've been longer in the market. You're a specialist in infrastructure. Will you keep your USB or your advance? Uh, definitely. And of course, we will help to enable these, um, these OEMs, uh, these automotive customers to be able to, to take their role. Uh, for example, with plug and charge, uh, the, the new cars which will be enabled with 15.11.8 will be able to, to plug into our charging stations. Uh, we'll have advanced information sh sharing from the station to the car, like state of charge, uh, but also use certificates to authorize the requests. And so we are uh, we actually building this into our platform. So the Evron platform, we are providing support for this plug and charge uh, capability, but also in the charging stations. Uh, so we're actually working hand in hand with the automotive customers to enable this. Uh, and of course, that's the starting point uh, because after that, there's also options towards uh, vehicle to home or vehicle to grid. And that's very true. That's uh, the, the big uh, question mark uh, at the moment. Uh, when do you think this is going to, to happen? When will we see the first, uh, first applications? It's difficult to judge, of course, because it's in the end the automotives that decide to support onboard charges that actually give this, uh, this option. Uh, we have been working intensively, uh, for example, with Renault and actually provide already uh, sample cases with, uh, with the Zoe that actually supports uh, bi-directional charging on, uh, on AC. And so we already have uh, done research intensively with this, uh, with this automotive customer so far. And we have, yeah, we have a, a bi-directional AC charging on the, on the market. All right, so this seems to be all about uh, connection uh, and a lot of interesting things coming up. Um, we are here at the EVBox event. With me was the CTO uh, of the same provider uh, talking about the Anner uh, EverOn uh, platform. And this was the electrive.com studio in Amsterdam. Thank you very much. Electrive Studio, powered by EVBox.